This is Kevin Boopy Miller, and this is episode one of The Hood Ticket. All the nights I cried, all the nights I sweated, blood tears. It just shaped me to a different person. Like, And then my mom and dad, they helped me to just use it as motivation. Like, losing people, I've been losing a lot of people. So I've just been trying to like just work. I've been trying to like, be on a different level than other people. I was working hard every day, pushing myself. That's why I'm like, Trying to be around Keith. Like, he ain't got it pushes me more. Like he wanna see me when I wanna see him win. So I gotta make a lot of sacrifices. I can tell you that I'm proud of myself. I grew up hard, but that's just the way it is, baby boy. All the neighbors they ain't want me with the kids. Probably thought that I died and I see the way I live on. Oh. I done made cross the field, that's a touchdown. Cutting in cut key, gotta work now. Mama know that we up now. Bring back full of cash. I tell somebody the difference is when you see a kid like that, he already got so much success, but he's humble, but he's in the gym. You know, a lot of other kids, when you see them get that success, and they start letting it get to their head, they start, you know what I'm saying, getting distracted, things like that. Like, I've never seen this kid get distracted. You know, even when I'm distracting the workout, he's still focused. So, like I said, we push each other, and it's like iron sharper iron. But, man, to see his uh, progression, you know, to see him have, like, a freshman of the year type caliber year, you know, I'm just pumping that energy into him. Like, man, you got you to, gotta, uh, you know, prepare like a pro now. Like now every year is like you gotta be one and done, like this your last year. So I think if we just continue to build his mindset and build his lifestyle up, man, he gonna have to, he gonna be a professional basketball player. He not gonna have to work um, and do much more other than basketball in his life. You know, Chicago's a, a city of guards. You know, you got guys like Keith Sykes and Patrick Beverly, Sharon Collins, City, and everybody says that Boopy's next. Since he was in elementary school, everyone's been telling me that Boopy's the next one to make it out of Chicago. And you know, he went to Central Michigan this year and a big time freshman year. And, and this year, we'll probably have a much bigger sophomore year. So everyone in the city is excited to see what Boopy can do. You know, he, all the legends, all, all the pro guards, everyone has anointed him as the next guy. So as long as he stays in the gym, stays focused and keeps working, we're expecting big things from Boopy in the future. They say that Bahama Mama good too. But I say like probably when I went to Beasley, like I knew I could compete with like the top players in the country, everybody in Chicago. So probably since we went with that 51 and over, I was like, yeah, I know I'm gonna go follow this shit like for real. So like, yeah, when I became a junior, I would say, like we started winning and some colleges started coming. I'm like, okay, all right, now I really, like, you know, these kids, you already said they good. I didn't think I was good until I got a scholarship. Like, that right. meant, that's when I was like, all right, now I, I, I can play, right? Like. Yeah. WNBA Sky Game. Watch the ladies play. All LC, run that back. Hey, first off, I don't respect no Rex. I ain't never dropped a dime. Not even when I got those Rex. Look, I was raising hell before the Hellcat. Yo, I can put you on, run and tell that. Look, I pop a nigga like a whale. Huh. I crack me a sip, pull out my feelings. Oh, I'm standing at the stars in the city. Oh, uh, uh, I'm standing at my hard wise head. Look, it's hard for me to find some inspiration. I pray for this generation. I need me a vacation. I'm trying to clear my thoughts, no one to call, no one late. Wanna know my whereabouts, I'm with the stars now late. Lord, pray for me. We just a product of our environment. We just a young nigga. Yes. 
Gucci shoes, 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 Gucci shoes,
for sure, for sure. She's gonna pay off. The best bar in the city, man. Get a TV. You want your cut clean? Come to Chicago. Come to TV, man. We're on that 3604 block, my cousin Cedell died. Uh, swag Money Cedell. That's why y'all probably see a lot of people playing Swag Money on my Instagram. But just being in Chicago, you gotta stay on point a lot. Just looking out for your brothers, just being on point all the time because anything can happen. Oh, no, I'm just trying to get in the trail for real. Cherry and Bloodwolf. Black, black Bloodwolf? I'll record right now for uh, like my episode one. Say what's good to the camera. Oh, Being around him, like, it's just motivation. So, just working out with him every day and seeing what he did, like, he never gave up. Like, he played on a lot of overseas teams. So, that's just motivation. Being around him every day is just motivation. It just make me strive more, just want to work out more. Like, I say, like, I try to outwork everybody, but he, he be putting in work work. Like, like, he the only dude I say, like, he up there with me, like, putting in work. Like, if I'm working out four times a day, he gonna still get an extra workout in and go put some yoga in. So like, just being with that dude, like he a real genuine dude. Like I love that dude. Like he my real brother. Like I look up to him a lot. If you want more? Like you gotta know more coming, Shorty. Like, like I said, Shorty, I play Steph, Trey, Marcus, my all niggas is just so, like in my mind it's like all right, more coming. So like I can't just be like, oh, I was in the league hooping like hell no, so I gotta keep working because next year like shit is gonna be Josh, it's gonna be Garland, like. All these more niggas that I want to see like every night. My mom be doing a lot of cycling, working out. She think I can't take it, but I just be trying to be different than other people though. But this gonna be a good class for me. What's going on, y'all? My name is Patrell, also known as Trailblazer. I've been working out with Boopy since he probably been in like fifth or sixth grade. And early on, he had a lot of talent, a lot of skill. So it was a lot that I had to work on as far as trying to figure out how to continue to develop him because he had so much talent and skill at an early age. But man, he progressed so much in his jump shot. 
in this field for the game, you know, playing at a pace that's going to translate to college basketball and now coming up pro. I see him working on his physical self, his body, you know what I'm saying, stretching, taking care of his, his diet, you know, doing everything that it takes to become a pro. So it ain't been nothing but love working out with him. You know, it's, it's always growth every time I see him. You know, he's he just putting in work every single day. You know, his passion, his hunger, and dedication to the game is inspiring. And, and he only going to the top from here. Just, damn. Stay like a nigga. You know what I mean? Don't break stress. Anything, so it, if life, basketball, whatever it may be, that's what I teach you. 